Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks and good night, socks. Good night, little house and good night, mouse. Good night, comb and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. Good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Hi, I'm Council Member Andrew Friedson, and I am here at Noise Children's Library, one of our unique treasures here in Montgomery County, reading one of my all time favorite childhood stories Good Night Moon. Telling stories is such an important part of who we are, how we live, and how we share about our, our life experiences with one another. So I hope you'll join me in telling your story and in sharing a story. And I appreciate the fact that we are all a part of one another's story. So here's to telling a story together. Thank you very much. So I wanna tell the story, a story about how I believe each and every person can change the world. When I was a freshman delegate in Annapolis, serving in the Maryland House of Delegates, the Honorable Craig Rice. I had a young girl who came into my office unannounced without an appointment. She insisted to my legislative aide at the time that she speak with me even though she didn't have an appointment. And then she proceeded to tell me a story. Thank you, Mr. She told me a story about how she was being bullied because of who she was, because of who she chose to love, who she cared about. So much so that they created an online platform and made fun of her and ridiculed her for her decisions, for her choices. It was through this story that she made me understand why it was that we had to do something. She imparted on me that it was more than just about her. It was the young girls who were gonna come behind her, the young boys who were gonna come behind her. And she didn't want them to experience the same sort of torment that she had experienced. I promised her that day in that office that I would do something about it. Maryland became one of the strongest states in the nation when it came to anti-bullying and harassment policy in 2009, thanks to this powerful, strong, steadfast young woman. That is my story. That is her story. That is our story. That is why we do what we do, because each and every day we have opportunities to change the world. I encourage you to find a way in which you can do the same. Take care. Hi, I'm Council Vice President Evan Glass, and today is National Tell a Story Day. And I wanna tell you about a sign that I have in my office that reminds me and my staff of our work here on behalf of all residents of Montgomery County. We rise by lifting others. And what that means to me is that we're here to help you. We are here to help you be the best that you can be, whether you need housing, whether you need food. This is my information in case you ever need anything, okay? okay. Whether you need better transportation and even better schools. And that is what my staff and I do day in and day out. We rise by lifting you to make sure that your lives can be as fulfilled as possible. And so in order for us to do our job, I wanna continue hearing from you. I wanna hear your story. So please do continue to email me, call me, text me, DM me, and follow me on social media so that I can hear from you so that we can continue rising by helping you be your best. Hello friends, this is Montgomery County Council President Gabe Albudnos, and I am here with the newest member of the Albudnos family. This is Coco. Coco is an Australian Shepherd mix. He's almost a year old. And we adopted him through an incredible organization called the Partnership for Animal Welfare. And I've got to tell you, we've had Coco for three months and he has added so much to our family. We have four kids and they have absolutely been thrilled and enjoyed playing with him. 
Coco has added so much to our lives. I've walked more these last three months than I would say in the last three years combined. And we encourage all Montgomery County residents, if you are able to adopt a pet in your home, they bring so much to your homes. So we encourage everyone to look at uh, the Partnership for Animal Welfare as well as the other nonprofit organizations and our own Montgomery County Rescue Shelter to see if there's a pet that will hopefully add so much love and value to your families as well. So we encourage you to check it out and please consider adopting. I'm Hans Reamer and I'm going to share the story of when I experienced a traumatic injury. I broke my hip, uh, a femoral neck fracture. I did it in a trampoline with my kids. And, um, you know, an injury like that has like lifelong consequences, excruciatingly painful. And I ultimately experienced three major recoveries, uh, surgeries. You know, first to repair it, which didn't work. Second, a new surgery to try to repair it again which worked and then didn't work, and then finally a hip replacement. So I went through all of that in about three years. And I spent much of those three years, you know, walking with a cane, uh, walking with crutches, experiencing life as a person with a disability. And it had a huge impact on me, of course. And I learned a lot about life with a disability. You know, I, I couldn't walk. I, like, a sidewalk with snow on it was extremely dangerous for me. You know, entering a crosswalk with a short counter meant that I might not get to the other side of the street before the cars were starting to move. It was very dangerous for me. A lot of people live like that every day. And the issues that I work on at the council really are important for those. And I, I can do something about that. And I feel good about being able to do something about that. You know, finally, I learned about resiliency. And that which does not kill you makes you stronger. I, I knew that going in and I had confidence in that. But it was kind of dark days for a while too. But you know, when you experience something, a, a challenge like that in your life, and you persevere, you know, you come out of it with strengths you never knew you had and, and strengths you did have that you, that you built. Um, so, you know, today I'm, I'm in better shape. You know, I, I take care of my health more. I, I'm, I'm stronger. I, I do things better because of what it took to recover, and I built habits that are sticking with me. So going through a really tough, tough challenge you know, can actually make you stronger and, and leave you better off for the future. So good luck if you're dealing with one and, uh, you know, thanks for listening. Hi there, I'm Council Member Nancy Navarro and today we're going to read a book about the life of Celia Cruz, who was an amazing singer. She was a salsa singer from Cuba. It's going to be bilingual, así que vamos a leer un libro sobre la vida de Celia Cruz. Celia, she was born on October 21st. Celia nació en octubre 21. Nació en la isla de Cuba. She was born in the island of Cuba. She was a singer, era una cantante. And she loved to make pastries, pastelitos. Then she moved to New York, se mudó a New York, where she met some really good friends who were also musicians, donde conoció muchos amigos que también eran cantantes y músicos. One of those instruments they use for salsa is called the conga drum, o una conga, un instrumento que se usa en la música salsa. And she became a queen of salsa. Ella llegó a ser entonces la reina de la salsa. And she recorded a lot of amazing records. Ella grabó muchos discos. Her signature phrase or word was azúcar, which meant sugar and it's in all of her songs that was the life of celia cruz i'm sydney katz i'm on the montgomery county council and i represent district three for my story i've chosen oh the places you'll go by dr seuss and it talks about fulfillment in life congratulations 
Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. It's a lesson in life. It, it reminds us all that, that things don't always go perfect, but that doesn't mean you stop. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. That just because you believe you're the only person going through the issues that you're going through, you aren't. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. And that when you just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going, that that's the best solution to any problem. But on you will go through the weather be foul. On you will go through your enemies prowl. Onward, up many, a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike. And I know you'll hike far. And face up to your problems, whatever they are. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. If you stay the course, if you work hard, you can be successful and you will be successful. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Hi, I'm Councilmember Will Jawando, and happy National Tell a Story Day. This book is called I Believe I Can, and it's a great message about you can do anything that you believe that you can do. I can sail like mighty ships, like the oceans I run deep. I can stretch just like the Alps. See them stretching there, the ballerinas? Until I reach my highest peak. Telling stories is one of the most favorite things that I do. I have four young children at home, uh, and I also uh, am the lead for libraries for the Montgomery County Council, and I love visiting our libraries, and one of my favorite things is story time. Uh, I do it at night at home with my children, I do it during the day, and did it throughout the pandemic. Uh, for over a year where we did Council Member Jawando's virtual story time when our libraries were closed to the public. Uh, and so I love reading books. Like the hero, I am brave in my, and face my fears despite my fright. Because I know I'm not alone, and in the end, I'll be all right. Sometimes I am right, and sometimes I am wrong. But even when I make mistakes, I learn from them to make me strong. I may not win at all I do. I may experience a defeat. But I'll dust off and try again to be the best that I can be. I know my power lies within. There's nothing that can hold me down. There is a light within my smile. There is a voice within my sound. My presence matters in this world. My life is worthy. There's a plan. I know I can do anything. If only I believe I can. Virtual high five.